Hi guys, this is Stalen Mouse again, and this is my tutorial number two. Uh, I'm going to explain you how to set up the the regular uh, that I made and promised for the community. So you can download it, um, and when you download it, it's a 3ds file. Uh, the 3ds file will be in the post. So uh, when you import it, select the regular. Uh, okay, convert units. No, I don't want to save my current scene, and so on. Now, the issue with 3ds is that it doesn't bring in everything as expected, as you can see on the knees, on the hands as well, um, on the back as well. Now, this is just a small issue, but um, how do we solve this? It's very easy. Uh, select uh, the, the model, click the Modify tab, go to Editable Mesh, click on the vertex, vertex um, and here press Ctrl A to select all the vertices. And then there should be a Weld property here, and so just press the Select it. So this fixes all the um, the issues in a single uh, click, and now we're ready for adding the materials. Okay, so uh, click here again on the editable mesh so it doesn't show the vertices anymore. Um, now we're gonna apply the uh, the material. So press the M key, and it will pop up the material editor. Now on the first slot or any other slot, select standard. There you select SC standard material and it will become black. Okay. Uh, material basic parameters, nothing we will change in there, passes either. Uh, we're going to choose diffuse. So click on SC2 bitmap. And then for the moment there is no bitmap selected, so we're selecting none and just select the colonist main mail diffuse um, select it open okay and with our model selected we're going to apply the material to the selected object okay that's it now if you want to see our applied material we can just select show standard map in viewport okay so with this we can see and test immediately if uh, how it looks um, in StarCraft 2 editor. So we're going to export it and we're going to select preview. And I already opened it, that's why it's so fast. It will show up red. Now if that's the case, uh, don't panic, it's just because there's an alpha layer on the diffuse uh, map and the, the alpha layer on a diffuse map means the color of um, the team. So if you press the numbers from one to nine, you will to zero. Sorry, you will see that it changes the complete model. But that's not what we want. Uh, now, what's the trick here is that in this material, it has been exported uh, from the MPQ file. In the diffuse map, there is um, the specular map. Now, how we can solve this is on the diffuse, we select use instead of RGBA, we select use RGB. Um, that will solve our problem. And in the meantime, we can also so drag our diffuse map and drop it on our specular map. And instead of choosing instance, we select copy. This means if we change one on uh, something on one map, it doesn't change on the other one. So OK. And of course, since it's on the alpha layer, we need to change the color operation and set it to use A. OK, we'll go back. And the only thing we um, can still quickly test it, just to make sure it's correct. Here we go. Now what is you don't see, you don't see the details too well and that's why the normal map comes in. 
So we'll drag it back on the side. Uh, material editor again. And here we will select the normal map. Now the normal map is also exported from the MPQ file um, to the DDS file. So if I select this normal map and this should do it. Now the only thing we are left to do is make the specular map effective. So we go down and we say that the multiplier is 2.5. Should be enough. Okay. Now we export it. Right there. Export preview. And when it's, fin when it's finished, you can see the light uh, reflecting uh, the hair is a little bit um, better. Uh, reflection and so on and so on. So um, that's it. This concludes our uh, material applying to the model and the next tutorial will be on how I can rig this model, uh, then skin it and then eventually animate it. Thank you for listening and till you next time.